Hey, how's it going? I recently I got a CNC milling machine and uh, I wanted to make a video to go over I, what I had to do in order to actually have a power in my hands. Uh, so the, the first project that I'm after coming up with is I, I'm going to make this old wooden clock I, and it has a lot of these big uh, wooden gears in it. So um, I wanted to kind of make the clock to show what my uh, or what the machine can actually do and I wanted to kind of learn a lot from it so I'm after making uh, a first part from it and this is one of the gears there's a couple of guys that are actually even bigger than this in the clock it's uh, it's fairly big uh, but um, this video is just purely an overview on me doing a drawing I uh, then opening up that drawing in cam software the software that's used to I uh, determine how the actual cut is, is going to be done and then I'm going to generate some g-code which is used by the controlling software of the CNC machine and then I'm going to do a video on the CNC machine actually doing the cut and uh, you know that that's uh, that's pretty much the purpose of this so the, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, the files which are generated and then I'll open up the software I am um, that uh, that generates those files so if I go in here I'm this is my gear clocks folder and I have it split between CAD files CAM files and CNC files so uh, the the CNC files or sorry the, the, the CAD files what I do is I generate I am um, just a, a 2d shape a DXF file and the software that I'm using is AutoCAD. So if I open up AutoCAD, and then I'll just open my drawing. It's gone right to it. Here it is right here. And you can see that I, I've literally I've drawn this out earlier. And then what I do is I once I have that guy drawn and then saved as a DXF. I have this cam software that I'm using and that software is called CamBam. There's plenty of uh, cam packages around but it's just the one that, that I decided to go with. So I open that guy up and what I do is I bring in my DXF file and I have this guy here. I'll just go select all so it highlights well. There's my individual drawing itself and then in this what I can do is I can create I, a lot of cuts I can uh, say you do entire pockets or I can actually just cut out circles or, or whatever you know and I can determine exactly how the tool should follow um, a you know a particular cut whether it should be on the inside outside I set the feed rate of the cut the tool diameter and uh, maybe maybe I might get some advice back based on the material all that kind of stuff so I uh, that's that's um, all, there's, there's a lot of options to this software to say the very least then what I do is once I have those paths drawn out this is here in the machining um, yeah, the machining um, folder and you can see all these individual elements called profiles I basically what I do is I generate g-code right and if I go back to my files here if I go into CNC files this is a G-code file, and this can be understood by a CNC controller software that directly controls the motors of the CNC machine. So if I go and open that, it's, I'll just say if I open it up with, with Notepad. I Myself, back in college, very early on, I did a certain amount of G-code. Not too much of it, like, you know, but um, I did a little bit, enough to kind of understand uh, what's going on. So basically, uh, for that gear, you're talking thousands and thousands of lines of G-code. So with that, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the actual CNC controller software. And there's a popular uh, software that's out there, Mac3. I've, I've known about it for years, but obviously I, I never went off and uh, put any time into it uh, until I actually had my, my CNC milling machine. So I have that open at the moment. And basically the file that I showed you there just a minute ago, that's actually loaded in here and when you load it in you can actually see the part itself as well so if I go say for example say I'm in simulation mode at the moment so if I go what I'll see 
Sorry, won't let me. It's giving me an error. Just one second there now. No. So basically, anyway, this is the software that's actually used uh, to control the. Uh, or sorry, this is the software that's actually used to interpret the G code file that's produced from the CAM software and uh, then go off and uh, interact with the CNC machine and cut out your part. So what I'm going to do now is, um, yeah, I made a couple of videos I, of me actually machining out the part, so I'm going to add it to the, um, the end of this and just show you the, um, the full overview. I have a few videos here uh, that I took um, while I was out actually machining um, the gear, so I took them on my iPhone and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open them up here and uh, I'm going to go through them then. Um, yeah, so this is myself, I, this is out of my shed basically, I am with the machine, I, I have a blank board, I put on the machine, I have it clamped uh, tightly in place and uh, this is the Mac 3 uh, software I showed earlier and what I'm doing is basically I'm just loading in a, a g-code file and uh, yeah it comes in and basically then I actually can see the, the g-code in this window as I showed and uh, then over in this window on the uh, on the very right I can actually see the uh, the drawing come in so um, if I move on to the next video what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm after marking the actual X for the very, very center. Um, and I think what I do is, yeah, I, I'm in the middle of just homing and positioning the tool um, because the, the gear just about fits into that square that's, uh, that's clamped down on the on the base. So I think I might actually see the, is it that the spindle goes mad? Does it go turning? It is, yeah, it's spinning away there now. And... Um, yeah, that's when I actually hit the, the start. I have the feed rate down really, really low at the start because it's my first time uh, uh, doing it. So that guy uh, goes off and does its cutting. Then I have a picture here uh, where these pieces are actually uh, cut out and um, it's in the middle of machining the, uh, the gear teeth. So it's the, very, uh, it's the very last point or the very last part, uh, the very last cut the profile. And uh, here then, I'm just after finishing, I think, the machining, and I'm actually just uh, pulling it out. Yeah, that's it. And uh, there's a lot, a lot of dust uh, on it. A lot of sawdust all over the place. So that, that's pretty much, that's an overview uh, to show you that, uh, you know, you go off, you draw the part. It's very important to specify the, the, the tool path. And then... Um, you know, you, you can have you can have what you're designing uh, in your hands within a relatively short period. I does, I'm going to make a couple of other videos which are going to go through maybe the the AutoCAD side a little bit, but definitely into the CAM/BAM uh, side and definitely into the Mac side of things as well.